Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Remember the primaries when Newt Gingrich was ridiculed for saying that President Obama have put more people on food stamps than any other president in history? Well, it turns out he was right. Editorial board member Steve Moore is here to go through the numbers with us. Steve, so 47.8 million Americans on food stamps as of December of last year. It's up 70 percent from 2008. Are we Europe? Yeah, you know, Mary, this is just an amazing story. There are now uh, close to 46 million Americans on food stamps. And by the way, we're supposed to be, uh, you know, in the third or fourth year of a recovery from recession. So we still have, in, in fact, what's really amazing is that as the so-called recovery has gotten going, more Americans have gone on food stamps. Uh, and I think that's, uh, you know, by the way, 46 million, that's one out of every seven American families. This is an all-time record, and I find it very disturbing, and it's happening, and not just food stamps, but all the welfare programs. I think programs. it's even higher than that, Steve. I think it's closer to 48. Um, let's put a chart up on the screen about the rising costs here, uh, close to $75 billion. Um, Steve, how is it that this program keeps growing if the economy is recovering? Well, you know, you know, Mary, I think that this is not happening by accident. You know, the line in our Wall Street Journal piece said that the biggest factor behind the upward march of food stamps is a sluggish job market and a rising poverty rate. Now, look, that clearly is one big factor, but they're leaving out also an important factor, which is, remember, this president, Mary, believes that food stamps and unemployment insurance is a, an economic stimulus to the economy. So back in 2009 and 10, the administration incentivized people and actually had outreach programs to try to get as many Americans as possible to go on food stamps. And you know the stories, Mary, that uh, in a lot of uh, Latino neighborhoods and, and uh, low-income neighborhoods, they're running TV ads and Hispanic uh, radio ads telling people to go on food stamps, that it helps the local economy. The more people on food stamps, the better. And, and the, the other thing, of course, was the evisceration of the work requirements for food stamps. I'm a big believer, if you actually put a, a robust work requirement that you had to work to get these benefits, I think you'd be a, see a, about a half of the number of people on food stamps as are now. So let me get this straight, Steve. So people who can afford to feed themselves, the government is saying, please go eat more on the taxpayer's dime. And then you have the first lady on the other side saying, you got to eat less. You need to exercise. <laughs> um, OK, let's go on to some of these other uh, programs, Social Security, unemployment, uh, disability. Yep. It's the same story, yeah, they, isn't it? What we're seeing, Mary, is a record number of people, not just on food stamps, but in unemployment insurance. We extended the benefits uh, for up to two years, and those benefits are still very, very generous. Social Security disability payments are at an all-time high. Medicaid payments are at an all-time high. And, of course, we haven't even discussed the big new entitlement that's going to put 20 million more Americans on a form of welfare, which is Obamacare, which is going to put all of these people uh, into the Medicaid system. So the welfare welfare state is booming like it has never been before. And what disturbs me is I was there in 94 and 95 when we put in place the welfare uh, you know, uh, reforms uh, in that period, which worked very well. And those, those reforms, in my opinion, have been all but eviscerated. Yeah, we're going to talk about rising Obamacare costs with Joe Rago, our colleague, uh, uh, next on the show. Um, Steve, uh, what kinds of, well, I'll just ask you, since you referred to the Clinton era, what do the Clintons think of this president eviscerating all of the reforms? That <laughs> you know, that's the a good question because, place. you know, this was one of the signature achievements. By the way, it wasn't just Bill Clinton. It was, you know, people, governors like Tommy Thompson and, and John Engler of, of Michigan and, 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 you know, Newt Gingrich and Dick Armey. And, and that was one of the great public policy success stories of the last 50 years. We cut the welfare rolls by 50 percent. Those people moved off of welfare into work. And what disturbs me as an economist is I do believe what you're you're seeing one of the reasons we've had a high unemployment rate is not just because jobs are scarce, but because workers, you, you, you've created an incentive for people to stay on welfare and not go into work because sometimes, Mary, they can actually lose money and benefits overall if they get a job than if they stay on welfare. I mean, that's a, that's a dim-witted system. So basically, we are Europe and we have a dim-witted system, as editorial board member Steve Moore puts it. Steve, thanks for being on the show. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Mary.